world. I'm Marnie Gellner. No doubt the twins have been looking for a jolt, and they're hoping that they find one tonight in starter Michael Pineda. He'll be making his season debut after serving a 60-game suspension, 36 of those games this season, after testing positive for PEDs. Last season, Pineda was one of the most consistent and effective starters for the twins, especially down the stretch. He became really reliable. Pineda throws a lot of strikes. He works in this zone. He keeps things moving. He could be a pick-me-up for this rotation. Today, I asked Rocco Baldelli about the expectations for Big Mike. I don't set, uh, and, and Wes doesn't have an idea as far as a specific pitch count or number or inning, uh, you know, number of innings. We're just going to let Big Mike throw, and we're going to see how the, uh, the hitters respond and see how he responds and, and basically go from there. So we're going to let him just pitch, and we're going to assess as the start goes on. Pineda will start tonight for the first time in almost a full year. His last start was last year, September 6th. And Dick Bramer, the Twins are hoping that they will see the consistent, reliable Michael Pineda that they saw down the stretch last season. In part, you're absolutely right. In part because this figures to be a low-scoring game for the Twins. They've really struggled against left-handed starting pitchers. A year ago, it didn't matter. Blake Snell, Ian Happ, Danny Duffy, the Twins will put a hurt in a, on left-handed pitching. That hasn't been the case this year. They're hitting just 239 overall. And 183 against left-handers. They haven't slugged very well. They're four and seven against left-handed starters. And Burt Blyleven, unfortunately, tonight they're going to see one of the best lefties in the league. Yeah, Dallas, Dallas Keuchel scoring a lot of runs. They're winning a lot of ball games. They're getting big hits late, and they're in first place in their division. The Menards batting order for Chicago. Tim Anderson, followed by Osmani Grandal, Jose Abreu, Edwin Encarnacion, Eloy Jimenez, Luis Robert, Nomar Mazzara, Yolmer Sanchez, and Nick Madrigal. Starting pitcher stats are brought to you by Home Furniture, and that is big Mike. Michael Pineda, last year, 11 wins, 5 losses, and 26 starts. Big thing, Twins were 16 and 10 when he started a ball game, and you see his numbers against the White Sox last year. In four starts, a 2.88 ERA, five and three overall against the White Sox. This is his ninth career start against Chicago. And he'll face Tim Anderson, Yasmani Grandal, and Jose Abreu in the Chicago first. Twins with a six-game losing streak. A little home cooking, they hope, will help things get better. And look at this Menards batting owner with Miguel Sano leading off. Jorge Polanco, Nelson Cruz, Marwin Gonzalez, Eddie Rosario, A. Ray Adrianza, Byron Buxton, Hildemaro Vargas, and Ryan Jeffers. The starting pitching stats are brought to you by Home Furniture, and that's a left-handed pitcher, Dallas Keuchel, making his eighth start, his second against the Twins. Twins won two of three in Chicago when the season started back in late July, and Keuchel won the game in the middle, and he pitched well. Five and a third innings, only allowed two earned runs, no walks, one strikeout. The White Sox beat the Twins in that, that day, 10 to three. 60% of the time a batted ball will be beaten into the ground. He will give up a lot of ground ball out, so we'll see what kind of approach the Twins